Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk the Crafty Yogi and welcome to your midweek yoga break. Um, if you follow my page regular, two, two live videos from Audra today. Um, so I showed off my swag box earlier and I wanted to make sure we did our regular uh, yoga little mini practice together. Um, I'm definitely sporting my halloween -y outfit this week. Um, my leggings are orange. Got my little skeleton <laughs> shirt on. So that's always a little fun thing. Um, and then, oh, I gotta show you this one card. I am finally, isn't that cute? I cased this from um, Andrea Tucker. Um, anyway, I'm finally having an afternoon where I can actually start crafting and planning. Um, the last few days have been work um, elsewhere from here. So I'm super happy. And <laughs> And I'm happy to make this video and then I'm gonna get back to work. So, um, last week I did have a question and I have not actually responded. I'm really, really sorry. I've actually been thinking about you all week and I can't remember um, your name, but she was talking that her wrists are, one of her wrists is fused. And last week we did a pretty vigorous, you know, twisty wrist stretch. And for some people that's not accessible. So today we're gonna do a little bit and we're gonna do some softer things that we can start doing if our wrists are stiffer or not as flexible and we need to build our um, movement more slowly. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to sit nice and settled on your stool or on your chair. Push away from the desk a little bit, try to have a little bit of space. I have very limited space, but I like to show this to you because a lot of us, our area is small at our office or um, wherever we're working. All right, feel the feet under the knees and have the knees in lines with the hips. Sometimes those knees like to go out or they like to come in. So we wanna find neutral. Feel your feet, lift your toes, and they can have shoes on, socks on. I've got socks and slippers on. Uh, feel your toes and spread them wide like I'm spreading my fingers, and then let them find the earth. The belly pulls in, the shoulders come up and back and down. So we're super tall. Tuck the chin and let the top of the head, imagine, like I've got a few strands of hair here. Imagine that your head could lift even higher toward the ceiling. And then just take a moment here to breathe. We're gonna take three deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. One more. And exhale slow and let it all go. There you go. All right. So next up, we're gonna take one arm up. Take it up, get it as straight as your arm will go and as close to your ear. Now, some of us, it's not gonna come super close. So you may need to figure out where could your arm stay. Good. And then your other hand is light on the front leg. We're gonna lean to the side. And if this arm being all the way up doesn't work, there's a couple things you could do. You could drop it to the head or you could put the hand on the shoulder. You could even do hand on the hip. So pick and choose where the stretch feels right. That was two, okay, the clock's running a little slow today. And then bring it in, give a shoulder roll here in the middle, and do the same thing. Take the arm straight up. So first just take it straight up and feel the energy in the arm. Shoulders can relax down a little bit, belly pulls in. Other hand rests lightly on the leg and lean to the side. Ah, oh, there you go, breathe here. Remember all your options. You could do um, forearm on the forehead. I'm not on the forehead, on the top of the head. You could do hand on the shoulder, you could do hand on the hip. So take your time, breathe in. And this is funny, I have my rib shirt on. So breathe in to your ribs. And then carefully bring it back down. Good, roll the shoulders. Ooh, that feels good already. All right, widen your feet. Um, I like to call this one stir the pot. And since we're gonna go with the whole Halloween theme now, imagine um, you're the witch, you've got a giant spoon, there's a big old cauldron and you're gonna stir the pot, okay? But the spoon is our torso. So hands to the thighs come forward, pick a direction right or left and stir the pot. Feel yourself roll across the sits bones, roll to the other side and come back in. Okay, go this way one more time. Roll it around, lean back baby, pull the belly in and come on in. And now go the other way, yes, the other way, oh. There we go, and one more time the other way. Oops, knock all the things off your shelf. And then come back to center. Now, shoulders roll back, hinge forward. So what happens to a lot of us in that our low backs are uncomfortable is we tend to round or tuck the tailbone. 
And it's okay. It's some of us are like that. We have to train ourselves out of it. So sit up tall. Legs are spread wider, so they're um, not aligned with the hips. And we hinge here. My low back stays nice and flat. And bring your hands, or let's see if I can get here, or your elbows all the way down. All right, I'm gonna go hands because I'm on a stool, so it's higher. If you're on a regular size chair, if it will work for you, come down to your forearms. All right, now press one leg into one hand or one forearm. Turn your shoulder, turn your head, look the other way. So it's really small and subtle, but lots of stretch, lots of movement. Come back to center. Now go the other way. Press one hand into the same, you know, the leg. Turn, turn, turn. Press in the shoulder. Breathe. And come back to center. Good. And then push into both and come all the way up and roll the shoulders and walk the legs in. And just sit with it just for a moment. Ah, that feels so good. I'll be ready to work all afternoon. Okay, next up, wrists. So tuck your elbows in, make a very gentle fist, and just um, let's do knuckles towards each other and rock the hands there. And if your hands only rock a little, it's okay. You're going to rock where it feels right. You don't have to overforce this. Okay, turn so your knuckles are down and rock the hands there. And then turn the knuckles up and rock the hands there. And then we're going back to where we started with the knuckles towards each other. I like to call this one potato, two potato, three potato, four. <laughs> um, and now rock it up and down. And it's gonna be a small range of motion for most of us here. Okay. And then bring the hands together. We've done this one before. Fingertips lightly touching. Elbows lifted, shoulders down and back, belly is in. So imagine there's a bubble. I know it looks a little weird, but it will slowly get those wrists moving and let your bubble roll around. And maybe your bubble is, you know, a little more jerky and not very fluid today. It's okay. It will get better or it will feel better. It'll become more comfortable. All right. And then bring it center and then have your fingers come closer and farther apart. So I like to think about this. I should lower it like it's breathing. Good, inhale, exhale, just let it flow. Kind of reminds me of a, um, what do you call it? A jellyfish, right? So let it flow in and out. All right, so now we, we move them and we're gonna give the wrist just a little bit of stretch. And how much is gonna be up to you? So keep the elbow down, take the hand to the fingers and gently just pull. Sometimes we do this with a straight arm, and that is a bigger stretch. So if you like that version and you want more, we'll go together. Feel free to go there. But sometimes just a little bit. It's just right. Breathe here. And then let's switch sides. So reach for the fingers. And I'm not pulling or pushing really hard at all. I'm just letting there be a little weight on that. So I'm going extra gentle today. Uh, if you do want more, extend the arm and pull back on the fingers more. See? Very nice. You can change it up a little bit. Let's take two more breaths here. And then gently release. Feel them out. Mm, they feel good. Roll the shoulders down and back. And there you go. Thank you so very much for joining me. Whenever you find this video, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube or IGTV. I am super happy that maybe you took a little bit of time for a little bit of yoga. Thank you, and I will see you next time.